big old buffaloes wallowing in the mud. What a rare treat this is indeed. We've been seriously lacking in buffalo sightings and I'm quite excited to see them again. The last one I saw was on foot and was about to chase me and we had to do a very rapid retreat. So it's nice to see them from the comfort of the vehicle. Um, well, they are, they're comfortable, I'm comfortable and everybody's quite happy. Although it must be difficult not to be comfortable when you're enjoying a spa treatment in the same way these two boys are. Settled in the mud, looking like perfect opposites of each other and enjoying the nice cool effect of it. And ruminating away, absolutely covered in mud, so they've obviously been sleeping in this way. And you can see it's thick and glutinous, that's going to do absolute wonders for the skin, darling. Or at least the ticks that are on the skin of the buffalo. It will catch them, suffocate them, and allow them to be scraped off. And what a relief that must be for our buffalo balls. Now this of course is the last thing that you want to encounter when on a bushwalk. There's a buffalo in a pan, which is one of the big reasons why it's nice to get to know an area so that you can memorize where the different pans are, muddy wallows, where a buffalo might decide to arrive and settle itself in the mud. Because often you'll find that because they're shallow, uh, sort of time to move away from them. And there you can see they are contentedly ruminating. And I have a question that, Kirst, I'm going to pass through you, sorry, while we're watching these buffalo, just out of curiosity because otherwise it determines where I'm going to go from here. Can Tristan let me know where those wild dogs came from? I would ask him on the game drive radio, but they've just found Cheetah on Buffles Hook, so I'm not going to get a word in edgeways. But if we could find out where they came from, otherwise there's tracks here that could be quite fresh, which makes for an exciting afternoon. Okay, interesting, very interesting. Thank you, Kirst. Apparently Tristan says the east. I'm up at Quarry Pan and I've got their tracks coming in here. I suspect the same pack, but you never know. What do you think? You two look like bookends. Don't you think they look like really appropriate bookends? An Earth Day bookend. Facing opposite directors, directions. Apparently you're all very excited to see Buffalo. I'm actually quite excited as well. It really has been so long since we last saw them. They are, of course, I don't suppose they realize it, but they are in the place where, when I first started working here, one of their um, companions or compatriots, I'm not quite sure whether it would have had any connection to these buffalo bulls, but when another bu where another buffalo lost its life to the Inkuhumas back in the day when Junior was still around. That's not something they have to worry too much about at the moment though because the lions are very far away from here. Oh, you can just see his tongue poking out as the bolus comes back into his mouth, chewing contentedly away. Now, Tannis, you want to know, speaking about how dangerous a sight it can be, stumbling upon such peaceful buffalo, you want to know how fast can the buffalo get out of the, mu the mud wallow, do I think? The best way to show you, would, or to do, demonstrate, would be to actually show you, but I won't do that because they're so peaceful and I don't want to disturb them at all, but that would be to get out of the car. You would not believe the speed with which these creatures can move. They're, they look big and heavy and bulky, but they are phenomenally fast, even when they're in thick mud like this. And their turn of speed always astounds me, even when they look like this chap, like he's dozing away. And if you think about it, it makes sense. If buffalo couldn't get out of the mud wallows quickly, the lions would spend a lot more time hunting them while they're in the mud wallows, because it would just make life so much easier and you'd find that buffalo would spend less and less time in mud wallows if it completely disadvantaged them. But they do move very, very rapidly. It always astounds me, the speed with which buffalo can move. Having been chased a few times, I know Taylor's been chased a few times. Oh, hello, boy. Yes, I'm talking about you and your grumpy nature. 
having a bit of a rub, horn rub in the mud before sitting up again. I know that Bushwalk definitely wouldn't want to encounter these buffalo, but what they found is something that arachnophobes wouldn't want to encounter either. Indeed, Jamie, and the only reason we found this arachnophobe